We have already obtained the hybrid equivalent model of the transistor and in this presentation we will perform few simplifications. The simplified hybrid equivalent model we will call as approximate hybrid equivalent model. So in this presentation we are going to obtain the approximate hybrid equivalent model. You can see the hybrid model on your screen and in this circuit VI is the input voltage, VO is the output voltage, II is the input current and IO is the output current, HI is the input impedance, HO is the output admittance, HR is the reverse voltage gain and HF is the forward current gain. These four are the hybrid parameters. HRVO is the voltage dependent voltage source, HFII is the current dependent current source and let's say this is the hybrid equivalent model of common emitter transistor hybrid equivalent model of common emitter transistor and because of this we will make few changes in this circuit. This terminal will become the base terminal, this terminal here will become the collector terminal and these two terminals are same and they are the emitter terminal, the common emitter is there. HI we will write as HIE where E in the subscript represents the common emitter configuration. HR will become HRE, HF will become HFE and HO will become HOE. II the input current is the base current that is IB. The output current IO is the collector current that is IC. So these are the changes. And now we will perform the simplification for common emitter and for common base configurations the magnitude of HR and HO are such that the results obtained for the parameters like input impedance, output impedance, voltage gain and current gain are slightly affected if HR and HO are not included in this circuit. This means if we remove HRE and HOE from this circuit then the important parameters like input and output impedances, current and voltage gains will not change. HO is the output admittance so 1 by HO is the output impedance, output impedance and 1 by HO generally is very large and because of this reason we can neglect it. If we compare 1 by HO to the load resistance then 1 by HO is very large. 1 by HO is very large as compared to the load resistance RL. So we can neglect it. I will replace it with the open circuit like this. If the transistor is connected in fixed bias configuration then in that case there is one more resistance connected in parallel with RL which is equal to RC and if this is the case then 1 by HO is still larger than RC connected in parallel with RL because we already know in case of parallel connection of two or more resistances the equivalent resistance the R equivalent is smaller than the smallest the smallest of RC and RL. So this is the property of parallel combination of the resistances and because of this property we can say that 1 by HO is still greater than RC parallel RL. So all the current will pass through RC parallel RL and no current will pass through 1 by HO. This means it is the resistance with infinite value. So we will replace it with the open circuit. HR, HR is the reverse voltage gain. This means it is equal to input voltage by the output voltage. This is the equivalent model of transistor and we use transistor for amplification purpose. This means the output voltage VO is greater than the input voltage VI. So numerator is smaller and denominator is larger. So HR is nearly equal to zero and because of this reason the voltage here HRVO HR 
E V O for the common emitter configuration we have H R E is also equal to zero because H R E is equal to zero. So we can replace this voltage dependent voltage source by a short circuit. I will replace it and we will have short circuit like this. So this circuit here is the approximate hybrid equivalent circuit. I will rearrange this circuit. This is the final circuit and if you compare it with the hybrid equivalent model then you will find there is no HRVO the voltage dependent voltage source and there is no HO the output admittance. This is the approximate equivalent model for the common emitter transistor and in this case the input current is equal to IB. The input current is equal to IB. Now we will compare this model with the RE equivalent model. You can see RE equivalent model on your screen and when you compare them you will find HIE H I E is equal to beta plus 1 R E where R E is the dynamic emitter resistance beta plus 1 is nearly equal to beta so H I E is equal to beta R E in case of R E model on the output side we have the current dependent current source and in case of approximate hybrid equivalent model also we have the current dependent current source and on comparison you will find HFE is equal to beta. HFE is equal to beta. So this is what we have after comparing the approximate hybrid equivalent model with the RE model of transistor and this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.